the morning. Uh, it is approximately 9 a.m. and the broadcast is about to start. And I am currently in our green room. So I usually do draft picks in the morning. They didn't need me this morning, so I just get to watch the webcast from here. The big rig, hello. And Tim with his shiny new jacket. The lovely folks in the wardrobe team just came along and said, Calabash is different colors. Here's a different color jacket. Good morning, Marshall. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm hungry. You're hungry? Yeah. Ready for continental breakfast? Yeah, I'm ready to just jam some muffins. You look like the Kaladeshi, what's it called? Council? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever I'm a little it is. weird without the jacket on, you know? Like, I usually wear a jacket at these yeah. things, but we're rocking the best. We'll see how it goes mm. today. This, we're not calling it the Glog. The Glog is deep. There's a better name than the Glog. All right, so we are heading to, where are we heading to, Luis? Sushi Kashiba, All which right. is run by one of the friends of, from the guy, from Jiro, from Jiro Dreams of Sushi. Yeah. It's actually his friend. So. Nice. I can't really walk. Watch me trip and like break my camera. Hello. So supposedly this is a nice Japanese restaurant. Awesome. Sorry, I'm just wow. taking people on the crazy wild <laughs> there. Louise did some research. Hopefully, he picked a good place. Uh, one can only hope. I, I had to call them five times. <laughs> oh my gosh, Marshall, you ate it all. What happens if my sushi just came out? If it wasn't photographed, it really existed. Once when I was younger, I went to a steak place and I asked them for ketchup. And they just looked at me like, will you please leave? <laughs> All right, so this is the gooey duck, which has been much the point of contention for tonight. I think, it, I think it's pronounced Gio duck. It's Gio duck. It's a gooey duck. Gio. You can tell from the way the lines are. And it actually looks pretty good because I think maybe I can probably put a picture of what a gooey duck actually looks like on this video, and it's uh, not appetizing. So really I was worried it would come out like a little too rigid, but it looks like it's actually like nice, nice and nice and flaccid. Oh, this is <laughs> Yesterday was good. It was long. It was like a regular pro tour day. And then after that we went to dinner um, for a birthday, which I showed you guys, and a deli delicious sushi. And uh, we also ate some gooey duck, which was actually pretty good. Okay, so the way um, the coverage weekend for PAX works is kind of weird because we have the World Championship in combination with all the things that happened at Kaladesh. We have seven rounds of the World Championship yesterday, which was Thursday. And now today we only have a draft. So our call time is way later. It's actually at like one o'clock and then we have a draft, three rounds, and then like that's it for the World Championship today. I'm hoping that maybe I get to check out some of PAX before our call time.
this is Christina. No, I, don't, I didn't catch your name actually. What is your name? I'm Ariel. Hey. Also known as Makeup Siren. Makeup Siren? Mm -hmm. Actually getting uh, touched up and ready to go back downstairs. And then we're just mingling. Are you guys just mingling, mingling hanging today. out? And then tomorrow will be the fair. Yeah. Nice. So that would be great. As long as the you're sun you're is the gracious to us, we'll have the fair. And, uh, the broadcast went well today. We only did one draft today, so it was the draft and then three rounds of draft and like that was pretty much the whole day. Um, the rest of the time there was Kaladesh content previews and whatnot. So uh, that went pretty fast. Um, we went to dinner out afterwards. Uh, I lost the game, so that's not good. Uh, but dinner was good and then we got to hang out uh, some with some of the players uh, who are getting their modern decks ready for tomorrow. Um, tomorrow we'll have four rounds of modern. It's also another short day since today was also kind of short and then we'll have the top four on Sunday. doing today yeah I was I spent two rounds spotting and yeah. I spent two rounds on the card nice I did too I did the exact same thing so we are at the eternal the dial it's the dial happy hour party yeah or something how are you doing today I'm at a happy hour so I'm happy is that true as displayed <laughs> Is there a medium hour we can go what? to? Is there a medium hour we can go to? There's not a medium hour we can go to, and uh, this is the uh, eternal happy hour. So, we're checking out some games, having some drinks. Matt Nass is wearing pants. You know, people are going to think he wears pants all the time because multiple times he showed, Dude, this up, is the second, he showed this is, up in the glove. This is the second time on. I have photo evidence of him having uh, actual pants on, but he is demoing eternal here. It triggers. This guy's a two-two flyer and perfect. Hit someone with it. There's a million. Former platinum pro. Former platinum. <laughs> 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 You're so mean. My show today was alright. Uh, we got our top four. I got to talk about modern, which is sweet. And tomorrow I get to stand around and make sure the, modern work, uh, the top four works. We're both on the semifinals, right? Did you check the schedule? I've got the second semifinal. Okay, I have the first one. Alright. All right. Between us, we'll get it nailed. Nope. How was your night today? Very busy. What did you do? I interviewed. Dude, hold on. Oh. Your shades are lit. Thank you. Yeah. But aside from that, I interviewed some cosplayers. I interviewed Mark Rosewater, Melissa DeTora, yeah. and some other, somebody else, I forget. I previewed a card. Nice, which awesome. card was it? It was Live Fast, okay. which is two in a black sorcery, draw two cards, get two energy. Is that supposed to be in combination with that other card, Die Young? Die Young, yeah. Live Fast, Die Young. They work very well together. Yeah. Die Young, I think, is just a sweeter card, but yeah. it needs Live Fast to be really sweet. Nice, very yeah. cool. Who will win the Thopter race? The Great Thopter race is going to be 16. Great Thopter race. Gabby, you were the pre-race favorite, but Luis is really ripping right now. Yeah, are you choking? Don't look at his. We have a winner! This is, this is the same thing as that, but it's got the winner. Luis, how does it feel to be the Thopter Engineer Champion? Wait a minute. Gabby, are, are you saying that he cheated? Yes, that is not what Marshall, I've assembled more Thopters on our own road from there. This is clearly a Thopter and I clearly in question. That is actually a pretty awesome thing. Yeah, it's a great thing. Scott Vargas, Thopter Engineer Champion. Gabby, can we see your Thopter? Hold it still. Let me see it. That's kind of sweet. Are you happy with your Thopter? Gabby, that's a Thopter. Gabby, look at how bad your Thopter is compared to that. You're supposed to take all the credit. We would not be able to. Oh my gosh. That's a real Thopter right there. 
Luis, do you have any words to say about winning the Thopter race? Luis convincing. No, not only did I win, no one else lost on track race. They just lost badly. <laughs> did, did you win this Thopter race in honor of anybody in particular? Thopters <laughs> uh, oh, wow. right. for Harambe? <laughs> Dude, first of all, it's not called the Glog. Uh, it's not called the Glog yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I know I'm gonna lose. Just tell me. Hey, Abigail Sportsicus. Yeah, Abigail. Jesus. You're a god, dude. Uh, the last one is safe. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> dude, I picked you. Yeah. It's because I like you, Marshall. Thank you. I like you about two hundred eighty-eight dollars more than I did. <laughs> Second from the top. So one, two. It is Abigail Sparsticus. I get to pick now. You. Neil, did you actually put your car in? Yeah. Uh, I got it to yeah. my bank. So you, well, so I'm going to say that if you have to call your bank before gaming, you should. You shouldn't game. You probably shouldn't have gaming. I respected the fact I that he was like, I respect the dedication. To a safe. That was a little sketchy how that, how that played out. No, I guarantee you that. Dude, so who is it? Me and Rashawn? Left hand. I need a confirmation. Left That's hand, that one okay. pays for dinner. Okay. Wait, which one pays? You have to tell me which one to reveal. Oh, oh. We're gonna reveal Do you want to make somebody happy or sad? No, no, we're going to reveal the right one. This one? So this is this yes, person that next levels wins this see your money right here. is making cash. Did I do it? This is stupid. <laughs> Sorry, Gabby. This is bullshit. Great <laughs> credit cards on the glove. <laughs> <laughs> so after I lost the game, I also almost lost my life. <laughs> well, it was for a noble. I did it for Harambe. Uh, yeah, so I tripped down the stairs and I just got totally destroyed. So thankfully these guys were there to save me. <laughs> or something. We brought ice cream. We did bring ice cream. And so now we have what? Ice on it. First aid kit and ice cream. First aid kit and some ice cream. That doesn't fix it. I just, we're going to have to let you go. Yeah. So we'll see how tomorrow goes. It actually hurts quite a bit. I am outside the group health urgent care center because I couldn't walk at all. And uh, I got myself some crutches and some pain meds and coverage of the world championship is literally going on right now and I am frustrated that I'm not there. But hey, health comes first. So uh, apparently I have an anterior ankle sprain. It is gonna take two weeks or so uh, before it gets better. I'm gonna be hobbling around in crutches for like two weeks or so. So not my finest moment. Um, but I'm heading back to the site now. I should be able to work the viewer. I can't spot. I don't think I'm going to be able to be in the booth because I took pain meds and I'm kind of loopy. Here's a picture of the damage. Uh, so yesterday after we were done with the broadcast, uh, we ended up going to a staff dinner. Don't have any footage of that. Uh, like I said, it's very difficult to film things when you're also wearing a cast and you're walking around in these crutches. Today, uh, I'm working the news desk. There's a bunch of Kaladish content that is going to be happening today, so I'm going to be in the news desk with Rich and Marshall. My call time is at noon, so I will be heading there soon. Woo! <laughs> First time working the news desk. I was on the news desk yesterday for like a one second segment, but I'm usually in the booth. So 
um, we're kind of tying together all the Kaladish content. So we're going to go to a panel and then they throw it back to the news desk and then we like spend some time there and then we throw it to the next segment or whatever. So uh, I'm excited. My first time trying it and we'll see how it goes. During the battle for Zendikar, Chandra joined the Gate Watch to protect the multiverse from interplanar threats. She had spent her entire life on her own path. I am home. Uh, traveling with a 50 pound suitcase was very difficult, I'll tell you that right now, but I got to ride the Wheelchair Express at the airport and I managed to make it back in one piece. Uh, I hope you enjoyed coming along on this ride with me and seeing what coverage of the World Championship was like. Um, you know, these weekends are tough, they take a lot out of you. They're both physically and mentally exhausting. The highs are really high and the lows can be pretty low, like floor level low. <laughs> literally um, but I'm very grateful about the opportunities that I get and being able to do coverage is one of them so I hope you just give you a glimpse of what it's like uh, if you liked it let me know give me a thumbs and subscribe hopefully I'll make another one of these for the next event that I go to and in the meantime I'll see you on Twitch bye everybody <laughs>